Hi, I'm Liz with Liz Toth Properties, powered by eXp Realty. I'm a residential real estate agent in the Raleigh-Durham area, and I specialize in working with both sellers and buyers. Today's seller tip is about separating your emotions from the selling process. You might have a lot of special memories attached to your home. Maybe you're the original owner and you built your home. Maybe you've lived there a very long time or raised your family there. However, memories and emotions attached to a home are gonna do two things. One, they make it very difficult for you to decide to sell. And two, they can get in the way during the process and ultimately cost you money. Here are some tips to help you separate your emotions from the selling process when you're selling your home. One, make sure you're prepared. Figure out what your real estate goal is. Maybe it's to downsize and get into a smaller home that's more manageable. Maybe it's to move to be closer to friends and family. Whatever that goal is, fixate on that goal throughout the process instead of feelings of loss. Two, only sell when you're ready. If you rush into the process, you're going to regret it. You're always going to find a reason to not approve showings, not allow your agent to have an open house, and you'll find something wrong with any offer that gets submitted. Three, don't let your emotions get involved in the pricing process. Always price according to the market. That's what buyers use when they're shopping for a home. They look at local market area comps to determine one, if you're priced right, and two, what they would offer you. If you let your emotions get involved, a lot of times folks want to price higher than market average. Don't make that mistake. Four, don't take feedback personally. Not all the comments about your house are going to be positive. I advise sellers to use this objectively and determine, is there something we can tweak or adjust to help your home appeal to more buyers? Finally, a great real estate agent can help you navigate this process and stay in line with your real estate goals. I hope this information is helpful to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you're looking for more seller tip videos or information about the Raleigh-Durham area or the communities in Raleigh-Durham, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to talking to you again soon, and I hope you have a great day.